they're walking up, and it's a rear hand. Boom. Right? It's just like it's kind of a sucker punch. But it's just this idea that even if somebody's hands are up, you know, on the street, why? You know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. They do that, right? But even in a situation where somebody's hands are up, you see this in boxing too. It, boom, boom. It's like if you, I'm not knocking blocking, but what I'm saying is blocking by itself isn't enough. It needs to be paired with distance management. Really there's three zones. There's a safety zone where I can't touch you, right? And you can't touch me in this distance. And there's a danger zone where we're in striking distance. And then there's a safe zone. Safe distance where we're in grappling distance. The key thing is knowing that how to pair, how to not pair, how to move in and out of the danger zone. You don't want to spend time in the danger zone. So when it comes to blocking, and this is coming from karate as well, where when uh, when somebody's striking you, you're not just trying to block, right? What you're trying to do is you're trying to close that distance. So even if he does make contact, right? So he's got another hand, right? He's got another hand. Even if he does make contact, it's not going to be nearly as devastating as if he makes contact over here, right? So what I want us to focus on is we're going to go back and forth like three, three times each. The idea here is, so you throw back hand, I go in, and the idea all I want you to do is comb your hair. In my case, <laughs> <laughs> Not much combing. Put some lotion on. Yeah, exactly. Put some oil on your scalp. Yeah. Right here, boom. Right? And you'll notice, I'll just come in with my forearm, heads covered. From here, I can literally transition to frame. My right hand on his, on his uh, neck and his jaw. From here, I can control his wrist. I have a lot of options now. One, I can go boom. I go boom, hammer fist to the jaws, not friendly at all. If I have his head cuffed, boom, right? Boy tight, right? Right, I mean, not just, just anything, almost yeah. even karate does it, right? And at this point, once you control, you control, you do your softening, boom, 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 right? There's a lot you can do from here. And then you can push out, go to safety. That's the whole idea, so what I want you to do is just focus on three and three, boom, Boom. Let's do that. Okay? Go for it. Make sure you uh, oil that scalp. There you go. And get your forearms on his shoulders. Like make, make it uh, make contact. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people do that. It, it, that's, even, that's common. And people make contact. It lands all the time. And get in real close. Yeah, there you go. There's so much you can do. As a defender, you need to match the offense stance. Even, even, even if you're going straight, you can apply the same principle. Yeah. Because the key thing is closing that distance. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe, like, and share with your friends, and I'll see you soon.